It's A. Uh, a for this one, let's have a look. So 5.044, 5 5.086, 5.1, 5.33, 5.41, 5.646, and 5.924. Yes, I would go for that one as well. Well done. Thank you. Is Janet here yet? No? She's not here? Okay. Uh, Inaya, let's go to you then, uh, starting with the smallest. Okay. Take your time. B. B, so 9 .77, 9 .78, 0 .79, 0 .87, uh, 0 .88, 0 .89, and 9.98. Yeah, that's right. Hold on, makes sense. Hi, Janet, you just joined us, so we're just selecting the correct order from the options, starting with the smallest. So you always seem to get the hardest question, Janet, for some reason. I don't do it on purpose, but it just ends up with you being in that time. So remember that the first numbers are all the same, so look at the small second number. So we're looking at the smallest, starting from the smallest. Take your time. Have a look. I'm just gonna unmute you, Janet, as well. So, I think it's going to be C. It's going to be C. Yeah. Why do you think it's going to be C? You're right. Answer is right. Mm, because it's Have smallest you... to biggest. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well done. So, excellent. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, whose turn was it? I think Inaya, is it? No? So, this, this question is slightly different. So, should, which number should go in the middle of the comparison below? Out of those four. Options. A. So seven point zero four is bigger than six point nine three, and six point nine three is bigger than six point nine two. That's correct order. And uh, Iman. I think 
it's going to be C. 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 Okay, let's have a look. So 6.9 is bigger than 6.85. And then 6.85 is bigger than 6.63. Yeah, you're right. Well done. And Janet, your turn. D. Uh, what did you say, sorry? D. 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 Okay, let's have a look. So 6.79 is bigger than 6.55, and 6.55 is bigger than 6.39. Let's go that. And in line. B, 8.8. Let's have a look. Uh, 8.97 is bigger than 8.8, .8 and 8.8 .8 is bigger than 8.79. Yeah, I'll go for that. Well done. This one's slightly different, Iman. So, question number nine, whereby which number should go in the left and right of the comparison below? And just be careful with the inequalities there. How many people answered that question? I thought I heard an echo. Did you, what, can you repeat that one more time? D. D, okay. So 6.05 is smaller than 6.82, that's right. 6.82 is smaller than 6.92, so that's right, well done. And uh, Janet? You said A. Uh, let's have a look. So 6.132 is bigger than 6.4. No. Because you know you chose A, 6.1. 6.1 is smaller than 6.4. Check one more time. There's no rush to the time. So a number has to be bigger than 6.4, and then 6.4 has to be bigger than the... B. B, let's have a look. So 6.414 is bigger than 6.4, and then 6.4 is bigger than 6.314. Yes, I agree. That's right. Well done. And in I? <coughs> So 6.18 is smaller than 6.19, and 6.19 is smaller than 6.2. Yes, that's right. Very good. Anyone? Let's check. So 7.72 is smaller than 7.74, and then 7.74 is smaller than 7.76. Yes, 
that's good. And uh, Janet, this is a different question. So think of six numbers between zero and two in your mind, then choose the correct order from the options starting from the smallest. So all these numbers here, B, C, D, are in order between zero and two, but which one is the correct order? Did you say D? Yeah. Yeah, D is correct. Well done. And uh, the next one, you know? Um. Did you say A? I said B. B. Okay, 2.126, 2.162, 2.264, 2.264. D, okay, so 1 1.296, 1.29, 1.269, 1.296, 1.629, 1.692, 1.926, 1.962, yes, that's correct, well done, good stuff. So that's that done, all right, well done. So that was uh, ordering decimal numbers, comparing and ordering decimal numbers, so fantastic. Let's go to our second lesson which was on mental and additional mental and additional subtraction which was the next one up. okay i think we're going to start with you jenna if you were next so in this case to complete the addition square Add the rows and columns together, then choose the correct square uh, of what it's going to be. So, so this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E. Because there wasn't enough space, they've all been spaced out. So I'll just do the big one for you first that you can see. Take your time. Thank you. 
goes, just make sure you do plenty of working out as well. And we'll come through these questions. I will look at some of the examples only because this is quite, these are quite time consuming some of these. Do those, uh, did you? Sorry, did you get the answer? D. D. What, this one? Yeah. Is that the answer you got on your working out that you just did? So 910 take away 345 is D, well done. And Iman? Next one. Um, the difference between the two numbers? A. A is 38, which is good. And Janet, 8,600 um, take away 8,100. Five hundred B. That's correct, well done. And Anaya, the next question, which is finding the difference between the two numbers. Check one more time, you know. You can do working out, girls. I, I really don't mind. Just take your time. There's no rush. I thought you said D before. No, I said C. Did you? I yeah. thought you said D. Uh, okay. Yep. 55 was right then in that case. Something wrong with the audio, I think. My audio anyway. So let's just do two, three more questions. Calculate which three consecutive numbers from the options will add up to make the number. Consecutive means one after another. So Iman, you're your first one up. Eighteen at nineteen at twenty comes to fifty-seven. That's correct. And uh, Janet. Thank you. 
Yeah, so 26 at 27 at 28 gives you 81. Well done. And Inaya, your last one. Uh -huh. A. 112 at 113 at 114 gives you 339 more time. Uh, the next one, uh, 504, if you did 167 at 168 at 169, so consecutive means they're right next to each other, numbers one after another, and that will give you 504. And for the last one, Iman, do you want to do this one? Mom, would you like to work this one out? Um, yes. Go ahead, please, quickly. A. So 31 and 32 and 33 gives you 96. That's correct. Yeah, well done. So, good stuff. Um, Why did we get off? some wrong? Oh, because I just missed some questions out just to speed things up. So we didn't do all the questions together. Okay.